Hello everybody. Okay, so this video is just to tackle several people that have asked about how in the world is Apex Legend working properly on Linux. And because so many have asked for it, um, it's getting weird. It's, like, it's up to the point, like, is it me that it's the only one that's actually working for? So I'm going to go through what I did just in case either I was supposed to do something else or everybody else is doing something wrong or whatever. Um, so first thing, okay, after you install either the Steam Snap or the Steam Debian version. It doesn't matter because on both I'm going to show you how it works on both, the, the performance and all of that. When you install um, Apex Legend, it automatically installs the, the easy anti-cheat, the EAC. It automatically installs that, okay, on both cases. Um, so you don't have to worry about installing the anti-cheat anymore. Am I using pre-cache shaders? You can use them or not use them. In both cases, it works fine for me, at least. Do note, do note that I'm using an NVIDIA card. So if you have an AMD card, everything could be completely different for you. If you have an Intel graphics card, everything could be completely different for you because of how the game engine could be working, how Steam could be working for you, how Proton could be working for you. Like you got those three huge layers of changes in, in between. So you got the Proton, you got Steam, and then you got the, the actual game engine. And then you have the drivers for that. It could be the Mesa version if you're in AMD or Intel. It could be the NVIDIA driver if you're in, in NVIDIA. By the way, I'm recording this video on Ubuntu 24.10 beta version. Obviously, it's not stable. Obviously, it has some issues, but I needed to test the 550, 560 driver. Don't install the 560 if you're it's still on Ubuntu 24.04 because there's like a Wayland issue or something with Mutter or the GNOME version. I forgot what it was, but it's like the 560 actually depends on that. And if you do it, then the games just stop working and just horrible everywhere. Um, so the 560 works, but on 24.10 and above, something to take uh, into consideration. If you are in the 24.04, then use the 555, which is the one that I was uh, using, and it's the one that I tested with the gravity mark and all that. That's the one that got the really high score, okay? Or the 550 or the 555, so it doesn't matter which one. So to answer the couple of questions, uh, do I have the pre-cache shader disabled right now? Yes, on both. Why? Because pre-cache shaders are like a dumb thing there. They need really, really high optimizations for the storage. They, they, they drink the storage super fast, especially if you have a lot of games and you play a lot of games. Then, so I got to a point where, and which is the reason why I disabled that, there were 12 gigabytes of shaders consumed. So basically, like a game. So I disabled that, and I'm testing the games. I've been testing the games for a while now without shaders enabled. Uh, am I using the Steam dev version? That's the one that I was using on 2404. Uh, after updating to 2410, testing Snap on, on it. Same for 2404, by the way. The Snap version, as you saw in my previous videos, has the same performance as the dev version. They're the same thing. I did not add the flatback version here because the flatback still is having issues, at least for me. It still has lag for several games, multiple games actually. And But again, it could be my NVIDIA driver. It could be because I'm on Ubuntu. It could be, there's multiple reasons. I'm, gonna, I'm not going to blame flatback um, because of it. Because for example, the recording app that I'm using right now uses flatback. Um, uh, the, um, there were a couple other things that I used through Flatpak, but they work great. It's just that the Steam version of Flatpak is the one that's having um, performance issues. Let's put it like that. For me. Only for me. Uh, which Proton version am I using? I'm using Experimental most of the time. When 9 came out, I changed to that one. I didn't see any performance uh, impact issues or something like that. No, no. Everything was working properly. I'm still using Proton Experimental as always. Did the anti-cheat kick me out? Did the anti-cheat break or make the game lag? Or all those questions that I've uh, gotten over either Telegram, email, or on the YouTube channel. No, they're all working fine. Never had an, an anti-cheat 
uh, issue there. Um, do know that when you open Apex Legends the first time, and obviously because I have the shaders disabled, I'm guessing, you're going to go through this process, which takes a really long time, at least the first time, okay? So processing, compiling shaders, and you got just, you, you got to sit back and, and wait, okay? Uh, I put both, here's the Steam dev version, and here's the Steam uh, snap version, okay? Um, so we're going to start with the Steam uh, snap version. Let me click that baby. There we go. Most of the time, or actually all the time, it loads really fast. And we got the Steam here. Um, before I, I put the Mango Hut, I, I know that on, on Steam um, Snap, the Mango Hut doesn't work, but I'm just, you know, leave it there until it actually works. Um, because it doesn't work, I enabled the, um, the Steam FPS, the green little thing that shows there. And I ended up editing the in-game FPS banner layout. So the only thing that I changed here is to make the font a little bit bigger. You're going to see that on the top left when I start the game. I, I actually did the same thing on the dev version. So in case you want to make the little green numbers that are super small on a 4K monitor because Steam sucks in handling customer support. I mean, everybody has been asking for this crap for years now. Um, you, you need to go to the in-game FPS banner layout and change it there because apparently Steam developers are very lazy and they don't want to give you an option of putting that there. Um, which frankly, it amazes me. If you go to Steam, settings, and I think interface or something like that, I forgot where that thing was. Uh, in-game maybe? Yeah, in-game. So here in in-game, in-game FPS counter, top left, you know, high contrast, so you, you get that greenish thing, and you wouldn't kill them to put a dumb thing here saying the font size. Like, oh my god. Anyway, from this list, the only ones that I wanted to show you for both cases, Debian and, and Snap, is that on the compatibility, I enable this here. Enable stream, um, Steam Play for, on, uh, for supported titles, boom. For all titles, boom. And then run uh, which version? Proton Experimental. That's how it is on the Debian version and on the um, snap version okay the other change that i did here is that on the downloads if you scroll down all the way down you see shaders pre-caching disable that crap Th this thing had gigabytes of stored stuff there even though it says load faster and blah 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 i never saw a game that actually loaded faster because of it out of 300 and something games that i have here so and the improved frame rate i Maybe my hardware, because of my hardware, but I also haven't seen an improved frame rate. Most likely it helps with the stuttering and all that. But again, the type of hardware that I have, for some people you might need this enabled, but take into consideration that it starts to drink your storage really fast. Um, okay. So, and for the Apex Legends, specifically that one, I enable all this. And I enable this one. Because this is a this is one of those games that limits the FPS so much that you don't know the real performance of it uh, at the FPS level. So I did this because I did this when the game starts, it's gonna stutter on the loading of the intro videos and stuff like that. I, if I remove it, that doesn't happen. But um, just for you to know that when I start re when when I load the game, you're gonna see that it's gonna like die there. Um, so take that into account and also that the, the menu is at 60 FPS fixed. Once I enter the game, then we actually get above 200. So let's, let's run the, the steam one. I'm doing it on the beta direct X 12 that they have. So you also know that on Linux, you can literally run apex legends there and it will work. By the way, I have a 1080 GTX 1080 next to, to this computer, the 4090, and it also works just to take that into account. But I'm just recording here because it's easy for me to record. Yeah, this is a lock thing because of, you can see the, the FPS at the top. It says 
1,500 and something. Sometimes it gets to 3,000. So, yeah. So for the three digit, hopefully you'll see a three digit. Those three dots could be the FPS letters, frame per second letters. Um, so we gotta wait there. Um, here's the shader. Okay, I'll be cutting this video so you don't have to wait for this whole thing. Okay, so we got the game loaded after billions and billions of years waiting. Let's click here the on the settings so I can show you what I have so far selected. Vsync disable. Go to DM audio here. There we go. Um, I don't know if I'm supposed to change something here. I, I, I totally forgot, okay? So I don't know what I'm supposed to do here, but it's like this right now. I think it, it's on both like that right now. You see that we're getting 60 FPS fixed because of, we're in the um, on the menu. Or lobby kind of thing. Okay, so now it's going to be loading the holy that was that loaded okay really fast uh we're getting 230 290 yeah okay yeah yeah, yeah. we got it we got it i know i know don't worry i still remember a couple of things hey you There's no stuttering, as you can see, or at least I'm not feeling any stuttering. Yeah, there, okay. I click there. Whoa. Okay, great. Okay, you can see if I had stuttering, I wouldn't be able to. I'm guessing. Mm -hmm. Okay. Gotta gotta raise this a little bit more. There we go. Whoa! Look at that one over there. Ooh. Almost. Refresh here. Voila! We go here. Okay, and what else? Switch weapons. Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. You see that the FPS is above 200 and something. Okay. Changes more or less, but 200. We're getting 200 and something FPS. Everything 4K. Everything whatever. Um. Ping location. Making contact with enemy. Okay. Let's explore this way. Devotion here. Energy ammo here. There we go. Okay. Pathfinder will continue our training. I will see you again, my fellow fighter. We may even shed blood together. Let's go. Okay. Over here, friend. And that. Who the hell talked? Well, anyway, that's the FPS that we're getting um, with Snap to uh, above 200 because it varies between 200 and something, 260, oh, almost 300. Who the hell is it? Oh, oh okay. How am I supposed to? Oh. Got it. Choo 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 choo. Well, anyway. Over here, friend. Look at the graphics. Okay, let's get out of here. And you already saw how it works on Snap, on Steam Snap. Okay? Let's close this baby out. 
and we're going to open the Steam Debian version. On the Steam Debian version, at least we'll have um, the, the the Mango Hut working. Okay. Steam Debian version sometimes takes longer than the Snap version. Maybe it's caching. Maybe I don't know. I don't know what Snap is doing there. I, I think you notice that it actually loaded faster. Here's all the same things. Remember, I'm using Proton Experimental. If you go to settings and we've got compatibility, we have it like that. If you go to downloads, we disable the shader here and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's start the game again. So like this one, because on this one, the game loads has even higher FPS. As you saw in my previous videos that we were getting 300, above 300. So on DirectX 12, we're getting just 100 less, but it's in better version. We're also not pushing the CPU. The CPU is actually in balance right now, and the boost for the CPU is disabled. Yeah, you can see the lock down here because of the amount of PS that we're getting, 1,500 so far. You can see that basically it's the same thing, the same amount of FPS that you're going to see between both, I mean. Uh, the Steam Snap and the Steam Debian version. Okay, uh, I'll, again, I'll cut the video here and then we'll proceed when it actually loads. Okay, so we're back on the Debian version. Let me close this here. Settings. We can you can see that it's the same thing, I think. Uh, yep. And let's test the FPS. Here's yeah, we can we gotta go to training. Yeah, th this is what I was referring to, like um on the snap version the training loaded faster, I don't know why. Okay, there we go. So we're, you can see the FPS on the where it says VKD 3D on the Mango Hut. It's the same, literally the same amount. Do it. Um, doing this. Okay. Inside the territories, you can find supply bins mm -hmm, that carry mm -hmm. weapons and resources you will need to survive. Okay. Open one. Your HUD will show what you have equipped. Follow the checklist to access and cycle through yes, your yes. Inside there we go. the supply bin, you will find a weapon and ammo. Mm -hmm. You can see that there's some stuttering as I... You can see that the, not not only is there no stuttering the the frame time. Very very stable. Can I shoot that thing over there. Oh yes, I can. Okay, so anyway, that wraps up the um, how I got um, Apex Legend installed. You just install it. Uh, auto installs the the easy anti cheat. Um, let me see what else. Yeah, Proton Experimental, default for all games, so you don't have to worry about setting up for each game. I think that's, uh, yeah. That's pretty much it. So, hope you like the video. That's it, big hugs, and thank you for watching.